doing? Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be re-releasing my review for Public Domain Number One. This is a now a book from Image Comics. Uh, I read it originally in January when Chip Zdarsky released it as part of his Substack. But this book is now out in print, out in stores. Uh, so go check out my review. Uh, and thanks for watching. Hello, everyone. Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of a new book by Chip Sadarsky. This is from Chip Sadarsky's Substack, uh, Public Domain Number One, Hold On To Your Heroes. Uh, so this book was released on uh, today, uh, if you're watching this on the 31st, uh, Chip Sadarsky put out a tweet. He's giving out this first issue for free on his Substack. I really, really recommend you go check that out. Uh, so as you can see, this is pretty much a book done by Chip. Uh, with uh, some editing by Allison O'Toole. So <clears throat> in this book, uh, we're going to follow Sid Dallas, who is responsible for the pop culture's greatest hero, The Domain. But his sons, Miles and David, have a complicated relationship with both the creation and their creator. Can they convince their dad to fight for their family's legacy? So I really found this book pretty interesting and relevant, really, culturally, uh, as we have all these you know, all these movies made from really big properties. We know that the original comic creators, uh, they're not really being compensated because, you know, like it's the company that holds the rights to all these characters. Um, you know, there's a lot we could really discuss. Maybe that's better for a full length discussion in one of our live episodes. Uh, but, you know, this comic really reflects maybe uh, some feelings on, on how creators and maybe including Chip Zdarsky here, like how he feels about this. Um, so I, I first of all I want to commend I it's not every day that I I see Chip Zdarsky drawing like it's been a little while since I read uh, Sex Criminals and other stuff like that and I always forget how talented of an artist he is like it's insane like I just love like his his stuff looks so good um, I do want to say that the main character Miles to me at least uh, feels a little it looks a little bit like uh you know sex criminals partner matt fraction you guys let me know if that's the case but but yeah i really love the introduction of the characters i really love Sid dallas as a character like the creator that you can see here with the ponytail um he he's a very endearing character immediately and which for the most part a lot of the creators that i've met for you know that make comics they they've been great um and Chip's also very good at the pacing here. I love the this is the interview with with one of the star or the main star from the from the movie where he switches back and forth, you know, like he's got an interview, but then they let him know that it's not a video thing. So he just immediately turns it back off uh, because it isn't, doesn't need to pose for the cameras. Uh, I really like that. So uh, and, and, you know, in this issue, we get to see Miles interview uh, the star of the movie and it does feel like sometimes not not so much the stars but the public and this is kind of being driven through through the narrative here um they don't really think of comics as art or they don't it feels like they don't fully acknowledge like you know the the source material and i think that could be frustrating for people that love comics like people that watch this channel uh, i'm sure you're here because of the comic books for the most part and we love comics and we love to see them get the respect that they deserve so you know that that scene where everything gets kind of heated, uh, very much, very like it, it felt, it felt, it really hit home. Um, you know, with some of that stuff. Um, also, Dave, uh, Miles' brother, a uh, very interesting character. I definitely want to see more of. I, I really wonder who Chip Zdarsky may be like taking a few things from people he knows, creators. Like, I, I feel like as a writer, because you write what you know, um you put people that you know in this in, in in a book like this um so one one really cool thing there's a sequence in the book where uh sid the the artist who there's also the writer is also there and there's a whole thing with that um artist artist versus comic writer um in the in the book as well uh, there's a little subplot there uh but you know he's at the premiere he meets uh the assistant of the writer but she's also a fan uh, and she's kind of going to be the catalyst of, of kind of kicking things off and what happens. Um, I won't spoil the ending. I really think uh, it's a very fun issue. It's Like I said, it's free. You can go read it. And I, I don't know the cadence of the release of this book. Um, 
But I'm just really excited because we are, it feels like we're finally kicking back off in that Substack. Uh, I know everybody was kind of taking a break for the holidays. Uh, and there's a bunch. We'll, we'll see more reviews on the channel of things that we are able to get a hold of. Uh, and then from there, we'll pick and choose what kind of Substacks we follow. But yeah, this is a uh, really cool, really interesting. I really, really like this book, uh, and I recommend it. Uh, I'll put a link down to the news to Chips newsletter down in the in the subscription in the description, where you can go download this for free. Uh, and I can't recommend it enough that you pick this up and just check it out. Um, you're not gonna want to miss out. Like I said, especially if you if you like all these you know MCU movies, DCU movies, like, and you follow comic creators and and you're aware of what's going on in the industry, I think you'll find this very interesting. Uh, but overall, it's just a really interesting story as well. So there it is. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Also, our audio podcast is back for season three. Uh, the audio podcast is a condensed version of our live show. So if you're not able to watch the full live show, uh, but you have some time on your commute, uh, check out the link in the description. You can download uh, episode one of season three of our of our live show. Uh, or you can just go watch our live show from last Sunday as well. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.